Good morning, Southern California, AM 1220, KHS. Joe's Fred Arnold on the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. Uh, well, what a beautiful day here in the Santa Clarita Valley. A little windy, but man, throughout the rest of the country, it is cold, it is miserable, and here in Southern California, you get a little wind, maybe a little chill at the end of the night, and that's it. So, a great day. T today, I've got uh, Tina Van Tig, mm -hmm. and she's with Cultural Care Au Pair. I get that right? You did. I know it's a tongue twister, but yeah. <laughs> you'll never forget it. <laughs> I will not. I will not. So you're an alternative to the typical nanny. Yes, nannies um, and especially daycares. It's a, a wonderful program, and it brings um, young people from all around the world to a host family, and they live and work and go to school um, just so that they can be here and help you help them. So it's really a wonderful win-win situation all the way around. So tell me about the au pairs that you get from all over the country. Mm -hmm. um, what is their purpose? Do they, do they live in your home? Do they just come visit your home to help you with? No. They live there 24-7. Um, they work 45 hours a week. And you can the best part of it is you can tailor it to anything you need. Um, weekends, nights, you don't have to worry about running to the daycare at 6.30 to pick up your child and then it's closed. Um, it is a wonderful alter alternative. They so they live in your home and of course you pre-screen these. Tell me about oh, the pre-screening yeah. process because sure. that's, that's probably the biggest concern. It really that, is. That and then the um, personality, um, if you will, uh, uh, making, yeah, fit, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it's amazing. This particular company has been around for 25 years. They're based out in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And um, they are, not many people know this, our nannies are um, defined by uh, the Department of State. They're screened by the Department of State. Uh, and not only is the au pair screened, but the family screened too, to make a good, safe environment for both people. Uh, currently, we have about 688 au pairs from about 28 countries all around the world. Typically, they're female, between 18 and 26. That's re really our guidelines. And um, they go through training. They get here, and they go through um, eight days of training before they even come to your house. And then the host families, we offer um, complete um, support. We have a team of people in every county, in every uh, city that you can call up at any time and say, what should I do in this instance? And um, it really is a wonderful program. I wish I had known about it when I had my kids, yeah. when I, they were little. Tell me more about the, what's the goal of the au pair? I mean, obviously it's to come here. Is it usually, do they usually study? Are they getting their citizenship? Mm -hmm. What is the ultimate goal that they have in their life? Well, they get a year visa. So they are coming out to um, experience the United States uh, and get that cultural exchange. And a benefit of that is now your family is getting a cultural exchange. And they have to have a minimum of uh, nine units of schooling. So in between the schedule, uh, they're here for schooling as well. And they get that year visa, it ac they acclimate, to the United States, and it's a win situation for everybody. The au pairs get to experience life in the United States, and um, we can really tailor whatever it is the host family needs. Especially in Southern California, there's so much to experience for some of the uh, those in Southern California that don't get out of their own comfort zone, if you will. Exactly. You know, you go within 50 miles and or 60, 70 miles. You got Newport Beach. You've got the desert. You've mm -hmm. got, I mean, uh, Las Vegas isn't too far, Mammoth Mountain. There's so much to experience yes. for, for those that come over. Let's talk about the cost. Mm. So the expense of this and some of the give and take you have to have. Well, um, there's a huge misconception that au pairs live in child care is expensive. And it's not. When the, one of the first things I learned about this company when I did my personal breakdown was that it was about $200 more a month than I was paying for 20 hours of daycare. Mm -hmm. And 
I was like a chicken without a head. I was running all over the place trying to work full time and get the kids cared for and relying on family and friends on sick days. And um, so if you break it down, it comes to $8 an hour, Mm -hmm. $8 an hour. And they help with light services in your house, laundry, uh, cooking, cleaning, it's not their primary purpose, but that's it's expected. They all assist in all that. Yes. Yep, exactly. Yes. Um, so those that want to get involved or find out more information mm-hmm. about, about an au pair, mm-hmm. how, how can they reach you? Well, they can always call me um, or they can go onto my website and um, they can look through um, – the, the website and call me and uh, I can sit down and break it down in a more thorough fashion and they can um, read and have questions that I can answer. And then once I get to that point and they are really interested, um, a, a consultant comes out to, to talk do the about, evaluation. Yes, yeah, in that the That we home. talked about, right. Yes. So um, phone number so that people can reach out to you. Um, it's Tina Vantig. That's W-A-N-T-I-G. And you can reach me at 661-313-4567. Tina, first time out of about 750, 800 interviews I've done where I've interviewed somebody that does something so um, unique uh, as this. So thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for sharing at KHDS. Thank you for the opportunity. This is really wonderful. Absolutely. So. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tina Vantig with Cultural Care Au Pair. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. This is Fred Arnold on AM 1220 KHDS.